Say hi, Abe. <laughs> Station, Texas. I am with Karen. She's my college station mommy, but uh, she's just a very dear friend. I met in my community group at church, and her family has adopted me. So those were all her wonderful animals at the beginning. And we are going on an adventure. It's my last day in College Station, and we're going to Montgomery, Texas, because her husband Mike threw a magazine at me in the back seat the other day, and it had this article about the St. Francis Wolf Sanctuary. Wolves and horses are my favorite animal. So, Karen agreed to go on a little adventure with me and we're gonna take you along the journey and show you all about it. her plays with her all the time. They actually play as a three pack and it's absolutely adorable. Closure, there she is. Same thing for a wolf. Their bite strength is about 1500 PSI, max. Bones break at 350, 360. So that right there shows you when we feed them raw meat and raw bone every day, they crunch through bones just like we do hard candy. That's our 17 year old wolf. Now in the winter time, if you're able to come back out for a tour, I encourage you to do so. This time of year, it's really rough on the animals. Um, to keep them cool, we have misting systems, we have their water tubs. They know instinctively to cool off. All they have to do is come lay down in their water tubs and it cools them off. And we also give them popsicles every day at the heat of the day, so usually about one o'clock. Today they got frozen beef trachea stuffed with frozen peanut butter <laughs> um, to keep them cool. But they get some kind of frozen treat every day. The other day they got frozen watermelons, which they love. Um, but we try to do everything we can to keep them cool in this Texas heat. Splashing water from the deli. Who knows how many tours she's seen come through dinner. She could care less. That's a dominant animal. I actually prefer being around dominant animals than I do submissive, because submissive are scared of everything. Dominant animals are very sure of themselves, and in my opinion, less dangerous. Oh, you're not going to lay down? That's so cute! She lays down in her water tub and always leaves her tail out for some reason. So it looks so cute. Achilles here is very special to us. It's our first ever arctic that we've ever had here at the sanctuary. As you know, arctic animals are white. They have white fur. It's actually clear. If you hold it up under a microscope. Now, the scented smell is my favorite. Uh, we use their sense of smell out here a lot for enrichment. These animals are highly intelligent, and so they need all kinds of mental enrichment on a daily basis. And she was probably separated from her mother at a very young age, so she never learned how to bond with humans. So that is why we have a dog here. We've had other huskies that have come through here that we've been able to adopt out. Miko! Sneakers! He's our first ever black phase out here. Uh, I was saying earlier that gray wolves come in all different colors. They come in black, grays, browns, and white, like our Arctic over there. Most wolves, I would say 65% of all the wolves in Yellowstone are now black phase. Uh, for some reason, their scientists have a theory about it. Um, they think that black phases are actually more genetically strong. So they're living longer and they're breeding more readily than just your standard grays. 
Because they don't shed like dogs. They only shed once a year. They usually last about a month and then they're done. Up in front of people that she feels comfortable. Oh, stretchy girl. Are you hot and tired? Extremely rare to have a mid-content wolf dog that acts like this. She's probably one in a thousand animals. If we were to take her indoors right now, she would absolutely panic. They do not like to be indoors. Hello. Hello. Sometimes I have a shovel with me. It's not because of her. It's because of squirrels and bunny rabbits out here. So it's my barrier in case one runs across the doorway here. It happens a lot. And so we carry shovels with us to get the animals away from our wolf dogs. Thanks. Thank you. So, how was it? Awesome! It was really, really incredible. It was so much knowledge and information and they told us the stories about every single wolf dog that they have and we learned so many things and there's a gift shop at the end and I would give it a 10, no, an 11 out of 10 on my scale. What would you give it, Karen? A big 15. It was really, really incredible. We would recommend it to anyone and yeah, if you're a dog lover or a wolf lover, um, for all you people in College Station who say all there is to do is $4 movies, you can drive 30 minutes and have an incredible adventure. So I started this thing when I went to Australia this summer where when I go to other places and countries, instead of souvenirs, I get art. So this guy's name is Miko. He was my favorite. He's only one year old. And see his eyes? We learned that if a wolf dog doesn't have yellow eyes, then they have no wolf in them. In order to have wolf and then they have some kind of tint of yellow eyes and I got postcards for my little girl that I sponsor in Peru and yeah let's see one of my other facts that I loved was that wolves lots of people so all the wolves at that sanctuary a lot of them were owned by people who uh, couldn't control them and they're they have no um, way to be released back into the wild. So these um, are the most needed um, in this sanctuary in need of refuge. And um, people will buy them thinking that they make good guard dogs if they have part wolf in them. And actually wolves natural instinct um, is to flee from humans. And so they make terrible guard dogs and you're actually really safe in the wild from wolves because they will not attack you. They will go in the other direction as soon as they smell you from miles away. So all those Hollywood movies are totally wrong and my favorite animal is still awesome. It's later now. We have the whole gang together and we are going to dinner and then to go see The Secret Life of Pets. Perfect end to a doggy day and hope you learned a lot about wolves. Had a good time. Thanks for watching this video and I will probably see you in a few weeks in New York. Bye.